עינת עין חכים, שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. Pleasure to be Culture Buzz. You are a match made in heaven. With a little help from an Israeli singer who made it very big in France, Yael Naim. And with a, li of, with a little help of several countries. Israel is one, Algier, France, and Switzerland. So after this long introduction, The floor is yours, <laughs> my friends. Tell us all you want to tell us. <laughs> so, um, in English? Yes. Please. So, um, we met in a pretty magical way in uh, MySpace. And uh, we started to collaborate. I sent, him, uh, him sent me some uh, beats and music and I wrote some lyrics on it. Um, and melodies and it's the first time that a musician tells me wow it's great you know because usually um, all my experience with the with the producers and musician you know oh it's nice idea but let's do it differently or let's try something else and Hakim was so uh, so amazed you know by what I did and I said wow maybe I'm good you know <laughs> <laughs> and um, there is no maybe yeah so um, so I invited him to Israel to perform with me and it was so amazing that I just wanted him to come back and uh, perform with me again uh, so the next step I went to Switzerland um, To, uh, actually, I wanted him to produce my uh, my uh, my stage performance, uh, which was a little bit uh, oriental world music. Uh, but instead, uh, I arrived to Switzerland and we wrote an album within three weeks. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> but we didn't do the job of the stage. <laughs> no, we didn't. Um, and the energy of this project was so, I mean, the connection between us, the, the, the most important thing that I want to say uh, to, mu to musicians and to artists is that in this um, process, um, we didn't compromise. It was very flowing, very accepting, very, uh, very complete. No compromising, no ego was involved. Um, so for me, it was it was very very special because I I wasn't used to this. Pure music. Pure music. And uh, <coughs> and the the interesting thing is that Hakim come from uh, uh, from a Muslim family in France. He grew up in uh, Paris and. Uh, I grew up in Kibbutz Dalia. Up north? Up north. And uh, when, when our relationship... In the beginning, you know, when we did music, there were no borders. We didn't feel any, uh, any problem with the, with the differences. Uh, but when our relationship became romantic, uh, people were very doubtful about it. Um, And they didn't accept it. Um, most of them. <laughs> well, people have the right to be wrong, as we say. All right. Um, but uh, it was it was very uh, you know it was very very uh, also strange for me the reaction you know. And um, after they knew Hakim, they understood it. You know, he's a beautiful one of the most beautiful persons that they ever met. Um, but in the beginning, all this uh, like uh, catalog, 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 like a box. Yeah, to put to put somebody in labels, box. labeling, yeah, in a label, exactly. Um, and this is something that um, now everything is okay, you know, because we are all one, and uh, in the in the end of the day, we all have the same wishes, and we all want to live. a good life, you know, quietly and... Uh, and love conquers all? 
And music helps. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. So it's is... with music and uh, it's still music. We are still doing music, but with love and full of love, surrounded by love. And we have a little child now. Hey, Mazal Tov. Tada, Oria. It's magic. It's magic. We live a magic life. Thanks to him. Thanks to music. Yeah. It's love. Yeah. And uh, we we perform a lot around the world. A lot. Uh, for the last three years, we performed like uh, uh, 70 shows all over the world in US, in uh, Europe, you know, Belgium, and uh, uh, France, and uh, Holland, England, uh, Switzerland, uh, Germany. And about Israel? Uh, Israel. Sure, sure. We did a lot. But not yet uh, Algeria. Not no. yet, uh, I will go. Inshallah, I inshallah one day. Can I, can I go to Algeria? I'm not sure. We have to check it out. Yeah. I want to go to Oran, for example. The city of my mother, where she born. It's a music town, everybody's playing something. His mother is a very special woman. She was a percussion player yeah. in, a, in a women's band. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, Hakim, a few weeks ago, we interviewed a very famous Algerian musician. Really? Yeah. Uh, Maurice El Madiouni, ah, yeah. wow. the king of Algerian Rai. Yeah, yeah, wow. You know, he made a similar uh, journey. Yeah. A similar journey to, to the journey you made. He went from Algeria to France. Yeah. He never continued to Switzerland. Yeah. And he never <laughs> met Einat. <laughs> and he's much older than you. I think he's over 80. <laughs> but a year ago, he made Aliyah and he lives in Atania. Really? Ah, really? Fantastic musician. Wow, amazing. Nobody knows. A bit. A bit. A bit. You help him, uh, you help him spread he it. He doesn't work. need our help. He manages. Oh, yeah? He's well known all over the world. Wow, amazing. Uh, the special thing so. in our, in our uh, performances in the world is, uh, first of all, the, the, um, the, the stigma they have on Israel. The, the vision that people have. The image. The image, yeah. Um, um, we break everything. You know, I, I talk about the kibbutz and about my roots in Yemen. And, and Bulgaria. Uh, and Bulgaria, but the roots <laughs> in Yemen are, are a little bit more uh, in my blood, you know, in, my, in the way I look and in the way I sing. Um, and uh, also, uh, people are amazed, you know, they hear about the Muslim-Jewish collaboration and uh, after all what they see in the TV, they are like, wow, is it really true? I mean... We call it reality check. Yeah. So you provide it too, yeah. in addition to your beautiful music. Yeah. Uh, we don't go on stage with a uh, flag, you know, okay, Algeria, you don't have to. Israel, You wow. don't have to. Yeah. We don't do that. We play our music. In Algeria, you have amazing lyrics. I said all the time, the music talks by herself. You don't need to, to move so much, you know, to make the show. And we can play with this. We can, we can, we can, we can be like, uh, you know, like marketing, you know. Ah, to religion on stage. We don't really, really know. Everything is talking by yourself. People just need to, to sit and to listen. And when we are in duo, uh, to see us, they must speak. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> I would like to ask you a question that you might uh, find a bit difficult to answer, but I will, uh, I will try it anyways. Yeah. If you had to describe your music in words, how would you describe it? Excuse the question. I would I would call it soul music uh, that inspired by urban sounds and uh, uh, you know acoustic folk, but uh, it's very soulful and uh, a little spiritual for me. Um, and I think when I sing or when we are on stage, the most important thing for us is the giving. Of give. You know, there are musicians, for me there is two kinds of musicians. Musicians who take from their audience, you know, they want to get love, and so the audience just 
uh, give them, you know, all the, the love. And they are musicians who are givers and they project their love. And I, we really try to give, you know, to, to, um, to give good feeling to our listeners, to, um, to share, you know, our, you know, the most, uh, our spiritual world, our love world. Uh, we, we share, we share, we share. This is our aim when we perform. It's, it's humble, I mean, it's very humble. It's just unite and we. Yeah, but it's. it's humble uh, message, but we think that in every person in the audience, if you can have a little uh, something to share with somebody else after that, yeah. just one person, it's, uh, it's really okay. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's just the chain, we have to make a chain. The change is in every person only. Don't wait for somebody who will knock on exactly. your door and uh, not wait for that. Don't wait for nothing. Do the change yourself. And uh, yeah, this is how things can happen. So we have an humble message. Of, we are focused on that. And that when she's on stage, she has a story. She tells things. She, she interacts with the audience. And uh, yeah, she's a giver. She's not only waiting for applause. Yeah. And in the end, the famous words of the Beatles, the love you give is also the love you take. Yeah, and we have you a get. song. Get. And we have a song. We have a song, Wonderland. Yeah, it's totally that. Right. is always what you will get, and what you choose is always what you will get, and what you feel is always what you will get, and what you hate is always what you will get. So always choose. Thing to Beautiful. Beautiful. What a message. <laughs> what can we wish? Einat and Hakim. Love and happiness. Yeah. Love and happiness. And health. Healthiness too. Uh, yes, the rest. Not really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I feel, you know, I feel uh, very blessed to uh, to play with Hakim. I think he's like one of the most talented musicians I met. No, really. No. It's true, it's true. I mean, it's. Uh, and uh, for me, I wish to myself that all my uh, creation in my life will be so flowing like this and uh, so fun to make because, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the way of life and it's nice if it will be fun. We join you with these wishes that you wish yourselves. Thank you. We add one more because we are conducting this conversation at the airport. We add bon voyage. <laughs> and we want to say Todaraba. Merci beaucoup. Shukranawi. And uh, Shalom. Toda, toda. Toda, toda. Toda, toda.